Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited for today's video because this is another requested video from my Facebook group where essentially somebody wanted me to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use the keyword research tool within TubeBuddy to help your videos reach more people and get more views. I did make a older version of this video back in 2020, but in that video, I kind of focused on TubeBuddy as a whole. Whereas in this video, they wanted me to specifically discuss the keyword research tool and how all of that works. So basically on that post, I said it was a great idea and if more people wanted to see it, I would absolutely film it. And within about 48 hours, I got a ton more requests and comments. So here I am filming it. So if you don't already have TubeBuddy installed in your Google Chrome, all you have to do is follow the link down in my description box and make a free account and then go to the Chrome store and install the TubeBuddy plugin to your Chrome. And rest assured, TubeBuddy is 100% certified by YouTube and safe to use and link to your channel. And then once you are all signed up, you have the plugin in your Chrome, you're signed in and all of that, then the next time you go onto YouTube, you should see the TubeBuddy icon on your webpage to then be able to use all of the tools. And if you have any other trouble with installing or signing in any of that stuff, feel free to message me either on my Instagram or in my Facebook group. I answer all my messages so I can help if you have any kind of struggles or problems. So now I'm going to go ahead and screen record my computer so I can get started with this tutorial. And now you guys see exactly what I am seeing. So to access the keyword research tool, what you want to do is go up to the little TubeBuddy icon on your webpage and then go to where it says Keyword Explorer. So now I do have a specific list of all the questions and things that this person wanted included in the video to make sure I miss absolutely nothing that you guys wanted to see. So this is what the Keyword Explorer tool looks like when you go ahead and open it up. The first thing you want to do is basically type in the keyword you are targeting. So I'm going to go for a real simple one and just do how to grow on YouTube in 2021. Now this is a tool I use for every single video concept, idea, title I come up with to make sure things like how many people are searching for this topic? Is this something people are searching for? Is this a video my audience would more likely want to see? And all of the other things I will discussed throughout in this video. But most definitely out of all the TubeBuddy tools, this is the one I use the most on a daily basis. All right, so out of all these questions, the first thing this person asked is to go over the overall score dial, meaning the weighted and unweighted green and red, what all of that means. So what that refers to is up here, once you have researched your keyword you have now chosen, you have this section that says overall score. So your overall score is split up into weighted and unweighted. So if you're looking at unweighted, this is basically a overall score for every single channel on YouTube, not specific to your channel. Meaning that if somebody was creating a video about how to grow on YouTube in 2021, and this is a keyword they were researching and wanting to rank for on YouTube, then according to the overall score, they have about a 61 out of 100 chance of ranking in search. Then when you go over into the weighted section, this is specific to your channel. So for example, looking at unweighted for an average, people have a 61 out of 100 chance of ranking, whereas in the weighted section, I have a 100 out of 100 score. Now, this is where the weighted becomes really, really important because just because the average person has a good or bad chance of ranking does not mean that your specific channel has the same chances. So if you are researching a keyword through TubeBuddy and you want to know specifically what your channel's chances are of ranking your video in search, this tool is going to answer that for you. So when you are looking at the overall overall score, you definitely want to be looking at weighted and you want this as green as possible. The closer it gets to yellow, orange, and red is the less chance you have of ranking for that keyword and getting discoverability and views. So that in a nutshell is the overall score and how all of that works and how to read that. So then the second thing they wanted me to go over was the score analysis. So this like search volume, competition, optimization strength, all of that. So let's go ahead and break all of this down. So first inside, of score analysis, we have search volume. So the search volume gives you this little bar here from red to green. Essentially, when it comes to search volume, when you are looking up a keyword on TubeBuddy, you want the search volume to be as green as possible. Because as it says here, excellent, this means that this keyword has a very, very high search volume. Whereas if you were to search up a keyword in the Keyword Explorer and see that it's more in the like orange red section, that means that this keyword has a much lower search volume and not very 
many people are searching for it. So like I said before, when I go into the keyword research tool to see is this a video people are searching for, people want to see, what I'm looking for is, is this a super green keyword or a red keyword? So if we look at this specific score analysis, this specific keyword has an excellent search volume, meaning a lot of people are searching for it. Then moving down into competition, this is extremely important. Again, you will see in brackets the word weighted, meaning this is the competition specific to your channel. So what this is basically telling you from the red section to the green section is if you were to make a video targeting this keyword and try to rank and search for this keyword, is there already a lot of content out there that your video is competing against and how high are your chances of competing against that content? So if I were to look at this specific score analysis and this specific weighted competition, this has the arrow pretty much in the light to dark green telling me I have a very good chance of competing against other videos currently ranked in search and getting my video ranked high in search for that keyword. Whereas if I were to research a keyword and the competition was down in the like yellow, orange, red section, that is then telling me this keyword has way too much competition and I shouldn't target it. So if I was researching this keyword for a video idea, this would definitely tell me this is a really good keyword for me to target because it has a high search volume and a low competition for me. Then thirdly, moving down into optimization strength over here. What this is basically telling you is from a red portion to a green portion, the other videos currently ranked in search for that keyword, how well optimized are their videos for that keyword? So optimization is something I talk a lot about on my channel because it's super, super important. As I've said time and time again, the best optimized your video is, the best chance you give your video of ranking in search. So looking at this keyword's optimization strength, this arrow is all the way in the green, telling me that all the videos currently ranked in search are all super well optimized for this keyword. Basically telling me that if I wanna have any chance of ranking my video above those videos, I have to have an almost perfect optimization score because all of their videos are already super well optimized. Whereas if I was to search up a different keyword and the optimization strength was down in the like red orange section, that would then tell me that those videos are not very well optimized, meaning I have an even better chance of ranking in search if my video is really well optimized. So when you are looking at the score analysis of any keyword in the Keyword Explorer, those are the three little bars you are looking at and how to read and understand those. So then looking underneath that at the number of videos in search results, that is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. This is how many videos are currently ranked in search for that keyword. So for the keyword, how to grow on YouTube in 2021, there are currently currently 197 million videos ranked in search, meaning that if you were to search up how to grow on YouTube in 2021, there is over 197 million search results for that keyword, meaning that is how many other videos yours is competing against if you want to rank in search for that keyword, which admittedly is kind of really daunting. You would think to yourself like 197 million videos, I have no chance of ranking in search. But again, that is where the score analysis comes in to tell you the search volume, competition volume, optimization strength, and also the overall score telling you whether or not this is a good keyword for you to target. Because there are so many other factors that go into ranking in search, such as your topic authority, if you already have other videos currently ranked in search for that keyword, and all other things that play into those factors and that data. So instead of having to do all that research yourself, all that work yourself, that comparing yourself, TubeBuddy does all that for you in literally a split second and gives you all of this data to basically tell you straight up up from very bad, good, bad, excellent, is this a good keyword for you to target? So based off of all of this data here, if I wanted to make a video about how to grow on YouTube in 2021, this is telling me, go ahead, this is a great keyword for you to target. Now, another question they left me is to look at the you versus top ranked videos down here. Now this you wanna take with a very, very, very small grain of salt. Because as I've said time and time again, when it comes to optimization and ranking in search, the number of views that your video has gained is not really a factor at all. It really all comes down to engagement and optimization. But just for the fun of it, let's look over all this and what this means. So essentially this is exactly what it sounds like. It is you and your video 
versus the other top ranked videos for this keyword. So first we have this little gray bar here that says average. So what this is telling you is that the average video currently ranked in search for this specific keyword has an average of 27,300 views. Then over here, this little blue bar here tells you the average amount of views that your videos are currently getting on your channel. So currently the average video on my channel is getting about 4,000 views per video, give or take the ones that do really well or not so well. This is the average amount of views I'm currently getting on my videos. And then this middle section over here, this like 200 with the little like black dot looking icon, this is basically telling you the lowest amount of views that a video currently ranked in search has for this keyword. Meaning that out of all the top ranked videos for this keyword, the least amount of views a video has is 200 views. But again, with all that in mind, you want to take this with a very small grain of salt because again, views are not a big factor in whether or not you rank in search. Your video can easily rank way above a video with like a million views if your optimization and engagement is much better. But if you were ever wondering, that is what that is referring to. So that is pretty much that for the left side of how the Keyword Explorer works, then looking more over onto the right side. So over here at the top, you have interest over time, either 30 days or 12 months. So this is basically all data that helps you to sort of get a better idea of recently, are people interested in this keyword? And this is split up into YouTube and Google. So looking at this graph, this is on a scale of zero to 100. So this is in the last 30 days around November 26, 28. This specific keyword had about as high a search volume as a keyword can possibly have. Basically telling me that if I wanted to target this keyword and make a video about this topic, if my video did in fact get ranked in search for this keyword, my video would be exposed to a lot of people because this keyword has about as high a search volume as possible. So if ever you are researching a keyword in the Keyword Explorer and you want to have an idea of over the last 10 days and the last 30 days, how much interest has this keyword had, then this is what will explain all of that to you. Then you have a tab over here that says video topics, where essentially if you type in any keyword in the Keyword Explorer, this will give you other video topics related to the one you've just searched up. So if I was to search up, let's say affiliate marketing or something more general, this would give me a long list of other videos and topics related to that main keyword, which is an absolute gold mine when it comes to coming up with content ideas and video ideas. And then you have this tab that says common tags. And this is also very, very helpful. What this is telling you is that the other videos currently ranked in search for how to grow on YouTube in 2021, these are all keywords that they tend to have in their description box, in their title, and in their tag box meaning that when you are optimizing your description box and adding all kinds of keywords in your description, these are all keywords you may want to target that people are also searching up. And beside every one of these tags and keywords, you have this little blue like line bar graph type thing that also tells you how highly searched those tags and keywords are. So for example, how to grow on YouTube has as high a search as possible, whereas as you scroll down here, these get shorter and shorter, meaning these keywords have a lot less interest and a lot less search volume. But this is super, super helpful for when you want to add more keywords to your description or your title. And then underneath of that box, you have this box here that says related searches, which again are just other things relating to this keyword that other people are also searching up, which again just gives you even more content and video ideas for your channel, which can be super, super helpful because if I go ahead and make this video about how to grow on YouTube in 2021 and that video does really well on my channel, these are other ideas I can then come back to and also create. So that in a nutshell is this entire page under the summary tab. And then you have two other tabs beside that. Now, if we go over into the results tab, this gives you a little bit more information about the other videos currently ranked in search for this keyword. So what this is basically telling me is that this channel here, Jade Beeson, who is actually a lovely friend of mine, currently has the most videos ranked in search for that keyword. Over here, it says she currently owns four out of 20 search results. So if you were to search up how to grow on YouTube in 2021, she currently has four videos out of the 20 top search results. Then over here, this is comparing my channel to this channel and telling me out of the top 20 results for this keyword, I currently have one of my own videos ranked in search. And then as you scroll down here, this is giving you the videos that are currently ranked in search for this keyword. So these are the other videos you would be competing against if you want to rank in search for that keyword. And then you have this last tab that is labeled map. 
So basically what this map section is telling you is it gives you the different regions of the world where this keyword is most searched up. And you can actually look at this in the map view or in the list view. And this can get super, super helpful, especially if you know exactly which countries you are trying to target with your channel. So if you are specifically looking for viewers in the US or Mexico or Australia or the UK, this will tell you which countries in the world have the highest search volume for this keyword and whether or not your target audience is looking for for this keyword. So if for example, I had a lot of viewers and subscribers in the UK, the UK currently has the highest level search for this keyword. So more than likely, this would be a really good keyword for me to target. So if ever you wanna know like where in the world are people searching for this keyword, this will tell you all of that. And that is pretty much it for the map tab and how all of that works. So yeah, you guys, that is basically it for everything I can possibly tell you about the Keyword Explorer tool on TubeBuddy and how to use all of that for keyword research and optimization and all of that. This was definitely a much more in-depth and in-detail view of the whole process and step-by-step -step routine, but every single time I have a video idea or a concept for content and I wanna know like how are people reacting to this content idea, is it popular? And I just wanna know a lot more information about this keyword and this topic, this is pretty much the routine that I go through and everything I look at. So for those of you who were asking for this and wanting to see this, I hope it gave you what you were looking for. I hope it was helpful. Hopefully this helps you with the future of your content and your channel and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always you guys, thank you for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!